Hello, my name is Brian Casey. I'm editor-in-chief of AntMini.com, and we're here at the 2019 edition of the International Society for Magnetic Resonance in Medicine meeting in beautiful Montreal, Canada. We have with us today uh, Dr. Pia Sundgren. She is president of ISMRM 2019, and she's also with Lund University in Sweden. Dr. Sundgren, thanks for being with us today. Thank you. My pleasure. Yeah. My pleasure. So uh, it's Monday morning, and a big, uh, a big uh, uh, focus of the sessions here today was, um, our big focus of the meeting in general has been diversity and inclusion. Um, can we talk a little bit about that and, and, and why that's important to the society this year? Well, I think in general, it had been a lot of discussions about this already last year, the fact that some people don't feel that they maybe were included, that there is a disproportion between men and women in the society. And we have made a great effort to to discuss these issues within the leadership and make sure that we try to make everybody feel included. Sure. And if you look at the society overall, I mean, we are a very inclusive society. We are members from students. Mm -hmm. You have trainees, you have postdocs, you have fellows, you have mm -hmm. clinicians, you have MR physicists, mm -hmm. MR engineers, and we have MR radiographers radiographers who is involved with the SMRT and we all belong to one community one group and I don't think that there is any other society where you have such a broad, broad yeah. inclusiveness of different categories yep. um, and that's what we're working on and I think that that is why society is so valuable and so appreciated yeah. is the fact that we actually do this. Well it's great because I, I know that in, in radiology in general in the US at least there's a big drop off between the number of women, the number of female medical students and the number of, of women radiologists because I think in, in the US at least there's over 50% of medical students are women but then it, when it comes to radiology that drops like 20 percentage points, you know, it's more like 25-30% of, of radiologists are women. I was just going to say, I think we see a similar trend in Europe as well in many places that, that you have a high, in, uh, high high number of female students, but not necessarily that everybody goes into radiology. Mm -hmm. And it's something that I think I ISMRM and even I in my own institution try to promote the value of radiology as a very good place to work. Mm -hmm. well, and it is a, it's a very open place, it's yeah. a free place, and one of the good things is, again, if you're talking about diversity and inclusiveness, the possibilities within radiology means that you could work in the whole world, the images are the same. Mm -hmm. You just need to learn to interpret them. You could sit with Taylor Radiology, whatever you want, mm -hmm. but you actually can work in the whole world. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't change. Yeah. It's not like in some other disciplines where you have. Are, to... are there particular aspects of radiology that you think are welcoming to women? I would say so. I would say that the possibility to work part time. The possibility to maybe even work partly from home because you could have your sta yeah. telestations at home and I know several female colleagues that actually do that, that they work partly from home one or two days a week and they come into the office two days a week. Many male radiologists work exclusively from home. And the many yeah. male radiologists yeah. choose to do that as, as uh, their way of working as well. Yeah. So I think that is one of the good things with radiology is that you don't need necessarily to be in your office all the time. Mm -hmm. Especially since you don't see patients every single day. Sometimes you do, depending on your yeah. your subspeciality. Yeah. But if you're just reading cases, I mean, you could. And I think that would be attractive to women. Yeah, should yeah. be attractive yeah. to women. Yeah, definitely. Now, this morning sessions talked quite a bit about um, disruptors yeah. in uh, disruptors in uh, radiology and in MR specifically. W why did you feel like um, disruption was an important topic to address? Well, I think, uh, I think we all live in a very tumult world at the moment, for many reasons. And uh, with the disruptors that we are talking about is that not only the value of MR needs to be addressed, it needs to be lifted up because it has a very strong value. But in many countries, I mean, they cannot even afford an MR. Mm -hmm. uh, in other places, they try to diminish the, the, the um, reimbursement, reimbursement mm -hmm. that you get for MR uh, images. So in that sense, it becomes the disruptors for, for the MR and the value of MR in many ways. And then, you know, we spoke about artificial intelligence sure, yeah. or machine learning. I don't see that as a disruptor. I see that as a, as a good tool yeah. for the yeah. future. Well, a lot of times disruption does bring positive change. Yeah. 
I mean, it's, it's hard at first it, when you're in the moment, yeah. but when you get out the other end. Right. Uh, no, I mean, there was a, people of, a couple of years ago that said that, you know, we don't need to train radiologists anymore. You know, a machine learning or AI will take over. And I don't believe that. I think mm. it's going to make my work and my life easier. Very good, good. With some, with some help. And mm. I, I still, I'm still needed. Okay. I'm okay. sure we all still need yes, it. Yes, definitely. Well, next year the meeting will be in uh, Australia? Yes, it will be in Sydney in May. And okay. uh, it's they have the same concept as here. We have, uh, we bring along most of the, the topics or the set, not topics necessarily, but the sessions and the construction Perfect. and the ideas will be the same as as here. So we will have, you know, plenary session. We will have morning sessions. We will have member member initiated mm -hmm. symposia. We mm -hmm. would have the young fellow uh, symposia and so on and secret sessions. So good. the concept is is the same. Okay. Well, we'll look forward to yeah. uh, the rest of this week and look yes. forward to that next year. Thanks for and being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Signing off for Aunt Minnie, my name is Brian Casey.